Hello guys, welcome to Global Happenings today. We have a trending news here for you. And the headline of the news reads, Confusion on the floor of Senate as a renowned senator condemns democracy, preface military rule. Alright, but before we continue with details of the news and further analysis, we'd like to encourage you, please, if you've not subscribed to our channel, just hit on the red subscribe button. And also, if you've not clicked on the bell icon for notification, do same. Thank you very much and God bless you real good. Alright, let's look at the news in detail. There was confusion on the Senate floor on Wednesday when the All Progressive Congress member representing Kogi West Senatorial District Senator Smart Adeyemi said he prefaced military rule to the current democracy being practiced in Nigeria. His submission caused a stay in the Senate as his colleagues vehemently opposed his opinion, describing his statement as anti democratic. The AME spoke while contributing to the debate on the bill for the establishment of National Electoral Offenses Commission, sponsored by Senator Abubakar Nyari. Nyari had said the Independent National Electoral Commission was too overwhelmed to effectively prosecute election offenders, hence the need for a commission specifically for that purpose. The president of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan, while responding to Adeyemi, cautioned him and said the opinion of the former national president of the Nigerian Union of Journalists was personal and did not represent the position of the Senate. Other senators like James Manager and George Sekibo also disagree with Adeyemi by insisting that democracy was better than military government. Adeyemi noted with anger that the way democracy was being practiced in Nigeria, particularly the electoral process, was nothing but a charade. He said, and I quote, to say without any fear of contradiction, there cannot be democracy in any nation where we do not have free and fair election. There will be misrepresentation, bad governance, misappropriation of funds, and all the shortcomings that we have witnessed over the years of the democratic rule. As a result, people of questionable character find their way to elective position. I think the time has come for us not just to look at the possibility of having an electoral offenses tribunal. I think there is a need for special court for the electoral offenses. One can be tempted to say that military government is better than democracy, democratic government. Those were the words of Senator Smart. Um, Adeyemi, who represent or uh, who is from Kogi State, you know, actually came in when the, they called for a rerun in Kogi State. So he was now elected instead of uh, um, the singing Senator Malai. All right, and um, this has triggered a lot of comments by Nigerians, but uh, it's important for us to look at one or two comments by Nigerians before we now, you know, proceed into uh, more other details uh, well for me i think that um, there is truth in everything the man is in god is opening the eyes of many and is awakening their conscience for once to face the truth about a lot that has been happening in this country um nigerians have been trying to let them understand exactly how we feel about the level of a le election electioneering um, deceit, electioneering um, pollutions that we have seen fairly recently, not just fairly recently from the inception of democracy in Nigeria. It, it, just let's look at what he has said and take into uh, and try to debate military rule versus democratic rule. But as much as whatever anyone will say, many people still prefer the democratic rule but i think there must have been good reasons why he had to make such a, a serious statement but however let's look at what nigerians are saying and this one said there is nothing incriminating in what distinguished senator said that's the absolute truth except that his co-travelers in the red chamber will never agree with him because almost all of them are culpable. What Senator Smart Adeyemi said is currently 
playing out at Bielsa State where the Supreme Court imposes governor has just requested for a whooping sum of 2.9 billion naira for cars under one month of coming to office. Isn't that bizarre? I really align with the senator's position. He didn't say military government is better than democrat democratic government, but that a court imposed democracy is worse than military government. And another one says, yes, he was only tempted to say it because he should not have said it. He is right on all count, though. So, so are you. And another person here says, worst military government is far better than this nonsense Nigerian politicians are looting, doing now. Another one says, yeah, the best of the military government is worse than democratic governance. Don't feed us with this. I have lived through all military government in this country from 1966, so I know what I am talking about. Thank you. No one says, can you tell us, can you tell us progress we have registered under the civilian, uh, under the civilian rule? All notable and major projects like the refinery, ten mainland bridge, and so on were done by the military. Can you point? out major projects completed by our politicians and another one here say adding local government council or state is not achievement sir in fact we should close down most of the ones we have already uh, and this one say can you reason well as what did abacha loot the money that the current democratic government is still working to recover Wow, and um, I like to take this as an asset. The truth is, 95% of our politicians in power, mostly at the National House of Assembly, are all looters and they do not deserve bogus allowance. They are all hypocrites. And this one, the last one I'm going to take here said, God bless you for saying the truth, although you are one of them. What have Nigerian masses benefited in democracy since the corruption politicians cannot even maintain the road, refineries, factories, etc., that were constructed by the military government? Shame on Nigerian government. Mm, so many other responses by Nigerians. And I want to, first of all, let's look at what... What is it like having a military rule? What is it like having democracy rule? For me, I still believe that democracy is better. But the only thing is, I think Smart is talking from the point of view of uh, point of view of African democracy. African democracy, yes, I call it African democracy because um, the tenets of democracy is not what we are experiencing currently what we are experiencing currently is a particular kind of democracy that is not seen anywhere a lot of people say that it's still in its baby stage but come to think of it a child of about 20 years is more than 20 it's about 21 years now democracy in nigeria starting from the time when uh, uh the obasanjo started up this rule started up um, you know as uh, the civilian governor oh sorry sorry civilian president till now it's more than 21 years now and uh, what have we really benefited from democracy yeah there are a lot of things we've seen happen in the country that shows that democracy it's okay but right now the kind of democracy nigeria is practicing is absolutely not the democracy that Nigerians were yearning for. Our politicians have made it so troubling. Sometimes when you have to look at what is happening in different uh, social medias, you have to you know, lend ears to what journalists are saying, bloggers are saying, and the likes, you come to realize that um, these guys are just there for themselves what we are seeing today is uh, not uh, democracy you know government of the people by the people and for the people what we are seeing today is government for the selfish privileged few they are the ones making all the decisions they pretend to be working but absolutely they are not working they are offending nigerians with the rate 
of looting that we are experiencing on a daily basis. It's damn too massive. If you sit back and take a retrospect of what happened in the general election in 2019, you will come to realize that the most profound things that happened then was just, you know, usurping a lot of people, taking over power when they don't even deserve it. We saw a case whereby people who are supposed to win election just because they don't have that federal might, just because they don't have the heart of doing the wrong things, they don't have the privilege of leading Nigerians. And you now realize also that even the democracy we are talking about right now is a blend of the military and also civilian because we saw cases where the military really came into play. Okay, look at the independency of the three organs of government. Look at what is happening today. Is there any element of independence? Yeah, we do not want them to be fighting against themselves. But they were meant to work safe. Each of them were supposed to work as uh, safe as a watchdog over other, another. You know, but this is not what we are experiencing today. It's a case of every day we see that the executive itself is controlling both the legislature and also the judiciary. Look at the case that just uh, came to an end fairly recently where virtually even other pol politicians they have come to that realization that the judiciary seems to be taking over the office of INEC, which it ought not to be so, despite the fact that the verdict was bad enough in whether you view it nationally or internationally, everyone who have experience, who had been, you know, in the position of attorney have clearly said that what we are seeing in Nigeria is absolutely not right. It's fraudulent. It has been tacked, fragrantly fraudulent uh, uh, verdicts. But hey, they, they still went on with it. And, you know, it clearly shows that the, the, the independency of judiciary is no more there because from all indication, it's as if everything is traceable to the executive. The executives are the one influencing them, telling them to make the decision which they, you know, which they are making. Okay, look at the case of appointing um, the CGN. You, you, you understand? CGN Tanko is currently there. But there was another person there, Onogin, was the one that was in that position. But look at how he was ushed out of the office and then even the president didn't follow the due process of allowing MBA, you know, to be the one in charge of recommending, nominating someone who is supposed to be in that position. But it was just a case of picking up somebody and say, you are going to act as the CGN, Chief Justice of Nigeria. And before we know, before we say who goes there, the other man was put under pressure. No game was put under pressure and kicked out of the seat. And the next thing was, wow, appointment for Tanko. So if you look at the fact that they are not following the due process, they are not doing things right, they are, you know, looting and all of that, you may be forced to stand behind smart Adeyemi that truly, you know, democracy is nothing to write home about in Nigeria. But all the same, we are hopeful that as time goes on, uh, we will begin to record some changes. We are hopeful that that will happen. But all the same, looking at this, comparing it with military, what do you think? Do you think that democracy is worst off?